Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! Hello everyone! Our topic for today is all about composition of functions. Composition of functions is applying one function to the results of another. To better understand this one, let us proceed to the examples. Let's start with number 1. Our little circle here is a symbol for composition of functions. And we can write this one as g of f of x. It means to say we will be using the function g. But our x here will be replaced by the entire function f. So to visualize that, this function here will be our value of x. So that would be the square root of our x is 2x plus 1. And then we will just copy plus 1. That will give us a square root of 2x plus 1 plus 1 is 2. And this will be our final answer. Now let's have number 2. So that is q of f of x. So the same thing, we will be using function q and that is this one. x squared minus 2x plus 2. But our x will be the entire function f, so this one will be our x value. And there's also another x here. So that would give us quantity 2x plus 1 raised to 2 minus 2 times, that's 2x plus 1 again. And then we'll just copy plus 2. This can be written as 2x plus 1 multiply to itself and then we'll just distribute 2 here so that is negative 4x negative 2 times positive 1 that's negative 2 and we'll just copy plus 2 doing the foil method we have here 4x squared 2x times 1 that's positive 2x 1 times 2x that's positive 2x and 1 times 1 is equal to positive 1 we'll copy negative 4x here and this is 0, so we don't have to write anything. Now, let's combine like terms. There's only 1x squared here, so we'll just copy 4x squared. And we have here 2x plus 2x, that is 4x. Minus 4x, that's equal to 0, so we're only left with plus 1. So, this is our final answer. We have here number 3. That is f of p of x so we will be using function f here but our x will be the value of our p of x so again to visualize that one p of x will be the new value of x in our function f so to write that we have here two times our p of x here is 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. And there's still plus 1 from our function f. Since p of x is a fraction, we'll have to make 2 b over 1. And we will multiply numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator. So we have here 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 1 is positive 2 all over 1 times x minus 1 is just x minus 1 and then copy plus 1. Since this is addition of fraction, our LCD is x minus 1. Remember, our LCD here shall be divided to our denominator and the answer shall be multiplied to our numerator. So let's start x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1 1 times our numerator so we'll just write here 4x plus 2 then 1 has a denominator of 1 so we have here x minus 1 divided by 1 
is itself. So that's x minus 1 times 1. So we'll just write x minus 1. And now we will look for like terms. 4x plus 1x, a total of 5x. 2 minus 1, that's positive 1. And then just copy our denominator, x minus 1. We are now on our last item, capital F of P of X. So we will be using here the function of capital F, but our X will be replaced by the entire P of X. So this one will be the value of our X. So we have here the floor function of 2X plus 1 all over x minus 1 and then copy plus 1 now what if we have this given as you can see here our x is now replaced with 5 so we'll simply substitute 5 here so that's 2 times 5 plus 1 all over 5 minus 1 and then we'll copy plus 1 so that will give us a floor function of 10 plus 1, that's 11, all over 4. And then copy plus 1. 11 over 4 is 2.75. Now, a floor function makes you think of the nearest integer down. So, that would be, we have 2.75 goes down to 2. And then copy plus 1. So, our final answer here is 3. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.